Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Evelyn. For those of you guys who don't know me, and I'm back with another video. Anyway, this video is kind of like a study vlog theme, but also getting my life together in a sense. I don't know if I'm going to film just the weekend or a little bit of next week as well, but anyway, um, my semester ended. Semester one ended, and let me tell you, it was a struggle to pass all of my classes. I wanted straight A's this year. Obviously, that didn't happen. It happens every year it's fine i i already knew it wasn't gonna happen i'm taking ap microeconomics and that kind of brought me down a little bit i have a b i borderline b i barely passed um i got an 80.42 and if you're not in the u.s and you don't ha or you don't have that grading system anything below an 80 is like a c or a 79.5 will get rounded up to a 80 so therefore it's a b so anything under 79.5 would be considered a c um so i passed with an 80.42 which is really bad which is why i'm making this video of getting my life together semester two because i'm actually really trying i let myself slip with microeconomics and with a little bit with math um personally i think math is just i just can't do it it's just not for me it's just not going to happen like graphing and functions are just not for me and even though i'm going into a business major which includes math i can do that type of math like statistics probability i can do like i can read graphs but i cannot tell you like area of a triangle i cannot tell you like any other math that you might require for like science stuff but i can probably do like business math if that makes any sense um, so those are the only two classes I was struggling in and now I'm taking regulars pre-calculus I got an 85 could have done a little better had I studied a little bit more um, So the goal this semester is to actually study have a little bit more motivation And this is a video of me getting my life together. So um, but anyway, let's all start Let me take you guys with me to my station. We're gonna work mostly in the dark because it's kind of really loud out today Oh my gosh. Also, I did my bed usually I never do my bed, but I did my bed because motivation um ignore my empty bare walls we're gonna do a video on that pretty soon for my one year anniversary but i don't know if i want to do it anymore because i'm leaving anyway we're not gonna think about me leaving guys i don't know we haven't discussed this on my channel college what's gonna happen to me but yeah anyway let's just let me sit, just shut you guys up Anyway guys, I just finished taking my productivity notes, which is the topic we are currently on. However, I literally didn't take notes for any of these um, topics. I'm not going to take notes on basic economic concepts because those are pretty easy. I kind of already know those. Those aren't really difficult to understand. Um, I might go over like opportunity cost and all that stuff, but I'm not going to take notes on like the intro. I might take notes on like the power slide right there the power slide the powerpoint um but other than that i'm just gonna take notes on like absolute i just have to do um like absolute and what is this comparative advantage marginal analysis supply and demand consumer and producer surplus government policies elasticity literally just a bunch of like little nitpicky topics which should take me a couple weeks to finish but i decided that i'm going to put all of my semester one notes into this ginormous binder um actually i'm super zoomed in but i'm gonna put it into this huge binder that i used to use back in the day i refused to use notebooks and only use like binders um so i'm gonna put all my semester one notes in here and all my semester two notes are going to continue staying in my notebook i actually figured out a system that i liked for my for my new microeconomics notes, so this is the setup I'm going with now. 
let me focus. Anyway, I focused as much as I could, but I just write the entire unit topic here. Productivity, for example, is the entire unit. I write the chapter books come with like a mini summary of what the whole unit talks about. So I kind of copy that down over here. And then I have my title page, which is the production function and what exactly that is. And then I do all my definitions, subtitles with like pink again. And then, I mean, subheadings with like pink. And then I put like my definitions with yellow, underline orange for examples, and then I just do my charts, and then I also did like orange for um, my equations. I like box them in with orange. And then for any information that's not super important, but maybe I should know about it is in blue. But other than that, that's how my notes took out. Six pages worth of reading only for two pages of notes. To be honest, sometimes you really gotta find what's important and what isn't. Also excuse the mess. But anyway, I'm gonna start getting a head start on these notes and maybe do some homework tomorrow just so I can like have a good restart for this week. But anyway, let's let's keep going. Today was just like a very like note taking, trying to get on track with school and stuff like that. But honestly it's been a huge mess just trying to like vlog it all. I'm gonna be honest. I'm actually gonna drag out this vlog if I see that it's a little too short. I might drag it out like a day or two like the first day into the semester and maybe vlog my day at school and updated things that I'm working on and how I plan. I don't know, maybe how I'm planning to get better at school. Personally, I am doing terrible in microeconomics. That's my only class that I genuinely am scared that I'm going to fail next semester. So, I don't want to fail. The reason I tried so hard this semester was because some um, colleges were asking for mid-year reports. I don't, and then you submit like your final transcript, I believe at the end of the year and I still want to have like a pretty good transcript so my goal for next year is to avoid senioritis because that's not a thing for me um in regards of colleges I'm going to that's a whole video in itself I will be making a video of all of the colleges that accepted me in the future and then I will be recording how I am going to make my final decision um honestly I should have started recording that a while ago I actually got my first um admission I think last month, December, I think I got my first admission or literally like week after I applied for all of these colleges and I got really decent or really good scholarships, which I'm really happy about, but that's a video for some other time. Um, anyway, right now I am still currently chilling. I'm just being here alive. Um, honestly, I'm just tired of a lot of things right now. I have a lot of things to stress about and... I don't know, I'm just not ready for the second semester. I'm not gonna cap to you guys. Like, it's just, I'm just not ready for it. Like, I'm not ready for the senior itis to hit, because it hits anyway. You say you're gonna try second semester, then you don't. You know? And I like, I don't know. So far, what's been helping a lot is Notion. If you don't know what Notion is, you should search it up, a video on Notion. I'll never make a video on how to use Notion, because personally, I just downloaded a template and it works for me. I just customized it a little bit. Um, but yeah, Notion is like an online agenda and it's really good. I really like using it. Anyway, I'm like going into like 30 different tangents, but anyway, in conclusion, I'm literally just chilling. I think I'm going to go to bed soon and just listen to some music, try to calm down, maybe try to read like 50 pages of what I need to read by Monday. I'm not really sure if I really want to do that. Um, but yeah, tomorrow should be a actually like active day for me. I got rugby at like 5 and it doesn't end until 7, so that should be a thing, but yeah, I'm gonna try to record a little bit of this week as well. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys later, and um, I'll see you guys tomorrow morning, so.
now that I have a clean camera, hi, I'm well aware my bed looks super messy, but I'm not even going to pay attention to it. Um, I just did my hair right now because it's Sunday and I have rugby today. I did my laundry, which is over there. I haven't even started folding it. I'm just going to leave it there, to be honest. Um, I did like the side part and then I did like two braids going from sideways so that when I look down, you see, because my hair won't go all over my face and stuff like that because currently my hair is kind of short. It has a lot of layers, so I can't exactly put it up in a ponytail because then I have bottom layers poking out and I don't want to stick bobby pins in because those types of like hairstyles tend to like fall out easier when I'm working out. So I did this and I, I like um, tied them together with some bobby pins. I think next time though, I'm going to secure them with a band instead. But yeah, this is, uh, this is my hairstyle that I'm working with today. Um, I'm just getting ready for rugby. I have my hoodie here that I'm taking. Anyway, all my rugby stuff should be in here already parked on the go because I just had rugby on Thursday and I haven't opened the bag since. And I'm just waiting for my boyfriend to pick me up to take me to practice because he also does practice with me. So I'm just waiting for him to pick me up. Anyway. Oh, and I can't forget my keys. I literally just saw my keys right now. Um, I sound like those teachers and stuff might walk into your class anyway i'm going to get ready and pick a mask you know and just be ready to leave i don't know i didn't exactly get to finish everything i wanted to finish for today but i did what i did i bathed my dog and i'm just going to fold all my clothes when i come back after i shower or read a book i don't know one of those two but anyway talk to you guys later because it's getting kind of late and i'm trying to pack my bags because i forgot that i actually didn't pack water so BRB. Yeah. Alright, let's do this. Oh, my friends don't